Hey, you're kept up to date on 2WCRFM 99.5, the heart of the Warren Bungle. I've been here this morning, and uh, this is Sunday morning community announcements. First of all, for you, I've got the all important weather information that's come through from the Bureau of Meteorology. We've got an interview this morning uh, in the studio. I've got a guest, that's uh, Jenny Birthday, and she's going to tell us about something which is very special next. But before we do that, I'm going to play a little bit of music for you. Here's Mark Knopfler and Sailing to the Philadelphia. Well, that's a very enjoyable number from uh, Mike Knopfler, Knopfler there. So I'll enjoy him, I could listen to him all day. How about you, Jenny? I think it's very special for a creepy Sunday morning. <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> You're listening to 2 WCR, and this is uh, 13 past 9 here in our studio. And as I mentioned before, I played um, Mark Knopfler there, but we're going to have a chat with uh, Jenny today. Jenny has a very important event. Now, I've made a mistake, I said next week. It's two weeks away. It's it the next two weeks, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us what that is. It's a Saturday, it's the 23rd of, um, of October. Mm-hmm. Tell us what it's called. It's got a big long name. It does. Um, we've published it on the internet as Kuna Flash Mob and Movie Premiere. Um, but a Flash Mob typically is a secret to the people in the environment where it's going to happen, so we're going to be looking at the secret this morning. <laughs> um, but generally speaking, what we're looking at on the 23rd of October, um, as I mentioned, it's Saturday at midday, that's 6 in the 6th, uh, very graciously going to host um, a world screen. World premiere screening of a movie made by um, Jason Mickey uh, and Sophie Barber of the Certain Photo Project. And the movie's called Save to Best Why. So, this is a project that they've been working on for quite a time. And they published a little um, I don't know, trailer, I guess you would call it, um, on YouTube a while ago. And they were looking for people just to host screening parties and get the word out there to accept so a not-for-profit kind of thing. Um, and I'm really excited that Kenny Barabin is one of 200 locations worldwide where we will all be doing it over that 24-hour period. And because of our time frame, we get to do it before the actual book market. Isn't that interesting? Yes, it is. I think that's pretty cool. So, so 200 sites around, around, around the world. Mm-hmm. How many in Australia? Oh, my God. Um, there are a few in Australia, but we've got there because I'm not quite sure. I've um, had some uh, messaging backwards and forwards with a lovely lady, Thomas Huck, who's down in South Australia at a university where they're going to be doing a screening as well. Um, and I know that there are a couple of other venues that I just don't know exactly when I pick up a couple of Jenny, you said this is put together by the uh, Tibetan uh, Project. Tibetan Photo Project. Yeah. Um, they have a website which is www.tibetanphotoproject.com and they also have um, quite a few videos actually on YouTube and some of them are just little snippets but some of them you can join together and pretty much see the whole documentary. It's not the first one that we've ever done um, for Tibet by a long shot but this is the first time that it's been done this way. Mm. Uh, are they based in where are they based? Um, Joe and Sophie are both in America, but right. in different parts of America. Okay. So Joe's a filmmaker and Sophie is a model and an actress and he travels around a bit of the ring all of us. But this is something that we're really passionate about. Um as an island and obviously heaps of other people around the planet, which is really exciting because the best doesn't actually have a journalistic infrastructure get right. information out to the world. Um, so can do it on their behalf, I think that's pretty cool. It's really good. Now, two weeks away it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Until t- yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and, uh, okay, tell us what's going to happen locally here. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that at about 11.30 that most people will start to get around. And I need to really point out, too, that it's going to be at the Dramatic Society Hall, which is going to be always show the movie. Um, which all the locals would know is right beside the Shire Hall and on that particular day there will still be the wacky arts and crafts um, expo going on there. Yeah. So I'm hoping that some people who would be going to the Arts Expo would like to come and watch the documentary and some of the people who are watching the documentary will yeah. go by next door and go and have a look at all the beautiful um, local arts and crafts that's as well. Right. 
Ja, we moeten starten met mij. We moeten starten met mij en de fles van voorbij staat in mijn baard voor de tijd. Zo. En people who are listening to your radio program will know that at the moment. Um, and those that have been in contact with me on the internet. But we're really, really fortunate in so many ways um, to make this day happen. You know, from the Canadian Commission, from the musician to the other to use the music so that we've had something to dance to. And there's a beautiful lady um, in America who's only Keith and Mustang. And her mother is Danish and her father is Sebastian and she's um, an American folk singer. But she's broadcast a free download on the internet of her song called Face to Death Wire and there's lots and lots of other folk songs and she's done a few other ones as well. And she just really graciously said yes to this music as I want to do this as a worthwhile um, event and yeah. purpose. Yeah. So, you know, I mean that's pretty fortunate. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> um, and beautiful music, really touching music. So, um, our nephew is uh, someone who's quite adept with technology and he videotapes his girlfriend Stella, who is a ballerina, um, also a physiotherapist, but uh, very adept to family. And so they've actually made the demo, the dance demo video, um, which I published on YouTube. And people can learn the dance for the flash mob just by watching the video in the comfort of their own home and then we'll all get together at a secret location. Um, about an hour before Pam we have a bit of a practice which the day was too happy. Or a little bit um maybe what would you call it? Stage shy, there's no stage there, it's just on the street. Um, or not on the road itself, but on the footpath. On the footpath. Yeah. <laughs> How do people get involved? Um, my website is www.selfwithgen.com and if you log on to my website, you'll be able to see from the very first page that there's um, links to take you through to the information about the movie and links that you can click on to check out the Tibetan Photo Project and Keith and Marsland and um, a fabulous site that I only discovered recently that is an index of all of the Tibetan organisations and groups in Australia. So you know, the whole purpose of the day really is to raise awareness around the world that that is um, suffering oppression mm. and mental health and they don't have a personal means of getting that information out. So I'm really hoping that people will click on the links and, and enjoy learning something about a, a fabulous and historic culture. Mm. Now with 200 odd sites around the world and it's all on the same day, mm -hmm. um, I guess it's represented in almost every country. Well, um, there are some really far-reaching countries, so that's for certain. Um, my brain's going to be blank at the moment, but um, somewhere near the polls, I think there is one going to be happening. I can't remember which poll it is. Um, but probably. Uh, but yeah, no, it's really widespread, and I just think it shows that, you know, at um, a humanitarian level, it doesn't matter what culture you come from, what society you come from, that this place for all of us to look out for other people. And Perhaps um, a little bit um, too patriotic or a little bit possessive of being an Australian, but I just think Aussies always look out for underdogs. And Tibet's a really small country and it's a small population, and um, they're under a real threat. And we're in a position to help them out, even if it's just about paying attention and setting them on. Yes. It's about um, flash mob. What? Okay, um, quite a while ago I was googling around and surfing around YouTube and fell upon a video of a flash mob um, that was done in Belgium at their big main train station and it just blew me away that so many people would be prepared to practice behind the scenes, learn something that is a group thing, that everybody's trusting that somebody else is going to turn up on the day um, and do the same thing. and. Some flash mobs are just um, people will stand still all of a sudden, like statues, and they'll do that for a few minutes, and everybody in you know, the local environment is thinking, what the? Um, yeah. <laughs> but, but then after, it's just drawing um, attention to whatever the cause would be. And um, I was really interested that the Department of Education has actually done flash mob and put that, I think, on their site. I'm not sure if it's done at the moment, but um, I thought that was a pretty cool way for them to be given a few across. So, mm -hmm. the government organisation were doing it, that was pretty cool. 
Um, but some flash mobs, you know, uh, m the ones that I've really paid attention to, I guess, are the dancing ones. And it's a really lovely uh, show of trust. Yeah. Everybody will come together and, and have fun raising the at the same time. So, that's why you won this one there now before. That is. <laughs> <laughs> and with our one, I mean, it is a contemporary dance. It's quite a lot since it's known that it's still practice. Um, but it was originally um, choreographed from um, using the essence of a traditional dance called a Tibetan step dance. And so if you just people surfing on YouTube and, and looking at Tibetans doing their dancing and, you know, they celebrate everything. And it just seems really sticky. That was kind of a strange idea that this is like the book we're doing in Australia. And, and as far as I'm aware, um, with all of the, the 200 babies that will be screened in the actual movie, Pink Bar is the only one that's going to be having an additional celebration. So that's hey. really exciting. It is good. Yeah. Be the first one, double issue. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm praying that I won't be the only person standing on the sidewalk. So, um, <coughs> would you encourage people to uh, to um, make, think contact, about, make contact, contact with that the gentleman? Yeah. You'll notice over the next few days, actually, that Tina will mm -hmm. be um, dressed up, if you like, with flyers all over the place, um, and they'll have our contact details on the Okay, well. so just have a look around. And have a look around the town. The main street should be looking pretty zingy over the next few days, and, and that'll stay up until the actual weekend. <laughs> Jenny, thanks for coming in and uh, talking about this. So this, uh, this is something really different. It is really different. It's the first time it's print, um, and it doesn't happen often, and it may not happen again. Um, so I think you know, the things that we have might be a real shame. Yeah, it be too. Yeah. But thank you so much for, for having me here to chat. That's great. That's great. And I'm going to be there. It sounds yeah, really interesting. Yeah. Well, I've been really encouraged you know, by the people um, that are giving me feedback and the support that we have in our own community is just awesome. So I have offers of people to, because we're providing free refreshments and free snacks and there's free entry to the movie premiere and we're going to play anything and stand on the street and watch people with you, having a dance and having some fun. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's not for me to just do that and enjoy the support and the community. Um, so if you just support yourself. Thanks, Jenny. Two weeks away. Two weeks minus one day. That's right. The countdown's happening. The countdown. So it's the 20. Keep this on. Now, Mark, I get, a, get everyone to get the pens out and mark the calendar. That would be fine. Mark the calendars on the wall. 23rd of, of um, <laughs> 20, 23rd of October. That would be fabulous. Two, two weeks away minus one day. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. And uh, here's the... Uh, it will be a dang paradise that day, I'm sure. It will be, so all over the planet. So here's a tour column. Great. That went well. Excellent. Excellent.